Got a package. <laughs> Hi Beans, it's Maya here, back at it again with another video. We're in a different part of my room today. This is actually what I like to call my crochet corner. I'm going to be decorating it soon. If you aren't familiar with my Instagram, you'll know that close to a year ago, I decided to redo my room. It looked completely different and I'm not done with the renovation process. So yeah, I have to fix this corner up because it's, it's a little bland, but we're getting there. Either way, we have a package open from Temu. At the beginning of the year, I got a new sketchbook and I also got new colored pencils because my Prisma colored color pencils were basically dead. I haven't tried out the colored pencils yet, but usually when I do my big pieces that are like colored and I'll put them here, like the Sasha piece, the Attack on Titan piece, or my Hunter x Hunter piece, I like to use a marker base. So I haven't been able to use those colored pencils yet but now i have my markers so we're gonna go ahead and open them all right so welcome to my floor packaging is really nice just gonna go in and it doesn't seem like something that's gonna last really long So I'm gonna swatch these and so I'll see you in a second. But yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi Beans, voiceover Mai here. So as I said, I'm just going to be swatching in these couple clips and then later on I will get to actually drawing with these markers. So they were actually really stiff to start out. Like I felt like I had to really press down hard to get the ink out of them. That wasn't the case with all of the markers and that might have just been because they were really new. But once that problem did subside, one thing I really liked was how pigmented these markers were. It was so great. And with that pigment, the markers did not bleed through the paper. And this was multimedia paper, so that might have been why, but I was very surprised that it did not bleed. One thing though is that some of these markers came without caps. Yeah. So that marker was already dry and I looked for the cap for like a good at least 10 minutes. But it is what it is, it was okay. At this point in filming, I was just really excited to draw with these markers just to see how they blend and to see how they did with everything. But overall, just watching them, the experience was good. I do wish there was a grate at the bottom of the bag just to organize the markers because it was hard to put them back once I had taken them out. And just rearranging them in the bag was a whole ordeal. But these are the swatches. They are quite beautiful. My desk was an absolute mess after filming, so I'm gonna go clean up and then we can draw with them. Okay, Beans, so the goal with this whole like YouTube channel is to be completely honest. So I did not start drawing this until like a week later. I don't know what happened, but I've been dealing with the worst art block. And if I'm being completely honest, I was really, really scared to use these markers because I just didn't want to try them and then not know what I wanted to draw or I didn't want to try them and know what I wanted to draw and for it to come out to be complete crap. And that's exactly what happened. I had no idea what I was doing. So I was just like, let me draw Kirby. But I, I just absolutely hated it. I was just really struggling. If you are familiar with my Instagram, you do know I have a series right now about overcoming art block. You know, that that's definitely something I need to work on because this is not it. <laughs> so I decided to switch to a, my multimedia sketchbook again because I did have some whips that needed to be colored in. FYI, I usually use these alcohol markers or just markers as a base and I always use colored pencils on top. So my mindset was just like, okay, let me use this as a base for this Dagoon Uraraka drawing and then I can just film another video with the pen colored pencils. But that's not really what happened. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it, so I decided to move on and I found this really simple gone drawing. So, you know, I found the reference again and was just like, let's just get to drawing. So I touched it up a little bit and then I just started filling in his hair. One thing that did pop out to me as I started using these markers to color things in is that the names of the colors are not always accurate to what the colors actually are. For example, I hadn't ripped my swatch paper out of this sketchbook so I didn't have access to it so 
I would swatch on the bottom of the page, but I was really relying on the names of the colors. And something that would be light green or like light leafy green would be like a really dark green or like an almost brownish type tint. So that was a little frustrating. That is, I have to say, is probably the most frustrating thing about this product. But other than that, I absolutely loved how well these markers blended and they went on the paper so smooth. Like it was just, it was so, it felt amazing to, 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 to work with these. And it made me want to maybe try a piece coming up soon where I don't use colored pencils on top of the markers, where I just use the markers. I only blend with markers and that'll just be how it goes. But yeah, so I just continued to color in Gone and I was really apprehensive because I did not want to mess it up. And of course it did not bleed through the paper, I was really surprised about that. I would love to give these markers like a really high score just because they were amazing to work with, they were really good to blend and I'm in awe of the fact that I was able to get them for free. Like, guys, this is not sponsored but go download Temu. But yeah, I gave up. I gave up on this this drawing. It was just it. That was it. Like I said, art block was not it was not my best friend. But looking back at it, like a couple of days after I drew it, I don't think it looked that bad. Sometimes, you know, as artists we can be overcritical of ourselves. But it was a pretty good drawing. But yeah, so I'm just cleaning up here and I do want to talk about my pros and cons with this because I did forget to film an outro. So my main pro is how pigmented and how well these markers blended without bleeding into the other paper and i really appreciated that that has to be my favorite part they blend extremely well and using them just made me want to continue using them and the only cons i have is that the color names are inaccurate and there's no great at the bottom but those are incredibly easy flaws to work around some markers did come dried out and some did come without caps but after I soaked them in water for like an hour they were completely fine. So overall I'd like to give these markers an 8.5 out of 10. They were really really great to use and if you can get your hands on them they're called touch brand markers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and follow and comment down video ideas or what you want to see me draw next. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!